My overall experience today has been incredible. I couldn't imagine it going better. I just feel so lucky to have this opportunity, be able to come here and spend the day. <laughs> Becoming field hockey state champ really taught me um, hard work and dedication because after losing the year before in the state championship, it taught us like you gotta persevere, keep going. And then once you get that reward at the end, it was incredible to see how all of your work had paid off and it was just truly a great moment. My most memorable athletic moment was probably this year. It was our league championship, which we had won the previous three years ours on the team, so it was a lot of pressure. It was also our senior night, so we were kind of worried about that too, losing on that. It was against St. Catharines, so our big rival. We actually were losing for a majority of the game, and we came back to tie it, and then we went to overtime, no score. We went to um, shootouts, and we won in shootouts, so it was a very exciting game. <laughs> And I understand that you are um, you are headed to Richmond to play yes, sir, hockey, correct? Yes, sir. So, in the end, what was it about Richmond? Was it just to keep playing? Was it the best opportunity academic and athletics-wise? What was it for you? I think it was just the best opportunity all around. It's close, so I'll still get to see my family. <laughs> my sister actually plays field hockey there now, so I'll still get to play with her. And the academics just work well, so I'm excited. So my role in the Student Conduct Committee, I was elected by my peers and the teachers, and we deal with the conduct issues that come to us. It's both a teacher and student-led um, group, so that it's not just the teachers teaming up against the students. And um, so it's pretty much just like we're given a case, and we f deal with it in a fair manner and have to figure out the punishment. <laughs> so <laughs> one of our service um, projects within my family is we're a big animal family. So when we heard about the Richmond Animal League, we we're like, oh, we should foster some puppies. So I think we've had over like 30 puppies now and we'll get them usually about three at a time and we'll keep them until we help them find homes, which it's probably one of the best community service projects I've done. The technical skills of teaching little kids gardening was they're very willing to try whatever. They really liked playing with the soil <laughs> in particular, um, but they're pretty much open to doing whatever. The one thing I took away from Jamaica that really surprised me was the happiness of the people around me. Especially when I went to an orphanage where the children are very young, like toddler aged. They were the happiest kids I've ever seen despite their conditions of living in a very small facility with not the, not the best conditions. It was incredible. One of the most amazing experiences I've had thus far is my high school experience. It's taught me um, many things, helped me create many relationships, and the places it's taken me within athletics, academics, arts, other extracurriculars, I feel like I couldn't have gotten it in another way, and I'm very lucky to have had that experience and have it still ongoing.